In the CProtec 4 world, DIG-C was the only tool to work with the CProtec devices. This now has changed significantly. Various tools complement DIG-C5 and help facilitate the work with CProtec 5 and CProtec 5 Compact. All CProtec 5 relays for example are equipped with a web user interface web UI. It is a built-in server functionality of CProtec 5 devices which create various pages similar to the web pages you get in the internet. Therefore you need not more than a standard web browser on your PC like Google Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge to get in contact with the CProtec device. Very important to mention is the fact that this access considers all cybersecurity requirements. The connection is done via the encrypted HTTPS protocol, the encryption based on certificates. The Ethernet interface access can be limited to read only so that it's not possible to modify any settings. And it's for sure possible to define a secure connection password or even a role-based access control. Via a state-of-the-art dashboard a perfect overview for different use cases is provided. So let's have a closer look on that. Let's go step by step through all the tiles which are located on this dashboard. Under device you get general information about the device such as serial number, firmware and hardware version and product code. With engineering you can verify and change settings, of course only if right access was configured before in dig C5. Let's have a closer look. Clicking on the settings tile in the engineering group. We get an overview on the function group level. When we select for example the motor 1FG. We reach the next lower level with all the functions that belong to this FG. Clicking for example on the tile of the thermal replica rotor function, all the settings are opened. Now we can modify settings in this function and if necessary navigate also upwards and downwards into other functions if we need to change further settings. At the end, if all setting changes are done, we click on the apply settings button in the top icon list and settings are downloaded into the connected protection device. All your protection function characteristics include overcurrent, overvoltage, distance, differential and busbar are available in your web browser. You can zoom in or zoom out for a better visibility, hide or show individual zones or stages, display tooltips with the exact values. The best thing to try it out, no additional configuration required, just use your Cipratec 5 device with firmware version 9.50 or higher. Under monitoring, you see the actual display pages as if you were in front of the relay, view the various logs and get the current status of all signals in runtime data. An additional feature is to define alarm buttons next to each display page which gives you the status of these signals and which can be even acknowledged. Clicking on the tile display pages gives you an overview of the tiles for all display pages. CProtec 5 devices can have up to 10 individually configurable pages. The selected one shows the feeder image with the CB, the motor and measurement values for voltages, currents and stator and rotor temperature. On the right-hand side, we see acknowledgeable signals which were selected earlier in the DIG-C5 information routing matrix. In our example the temperature of the rotor is so high that another restart is not yet possible which is indicated by the red color on the right-hand side. When this status changes, the color becomes green. The green color changes to the basic color when the signal is acknowledged. The measurements show all configured measurements as absolute values and also in a vector diagram. Terminal assign allows you to inspect which binary inputs are activated and also which signals are assigned to these inputs. Similar for the binary outputs the contact status and assigned signals can be verified. The tile recorders brings us to the various recorders of CProtec 5. When we click on recording. We see a tile for the fault recorder and for slow scan recorders. Clicking on the fault recorder tile opens the view for fault recorders. Here you get automatically a list of all records in the device. You can show a selected fault record clicking on the symbol with the eye directly in this window. You can trigger a fault record with the second icon with the plus sign and you can download the marked fault records to your PC. The next block is diagnosis. Finally there is a tile for certificate handling and another one for collecting all necessary information for our customer support, in case you need help with your device. 
To sum it up, even if you're not familiar with DIG-C5, the web UI allows you to read out measurement values, logs, fault records and other process data and you can change individual settings. All these features are free of charge because the web UI is built in in every CPROTEC 5 device. Thanks for watching, if you like this video, don't forget to scan the QR code and subscribe to our channel, more interesting information are waiting for you.